All right, good morning. Something practical today, actually. Um, happy revving. I hope you guys are having a good morning out there. <clears throat> Here we go. Something practical. I don't know how many times I've been asked, does Revit have a downspout? And eh, you can fake it big time um, if you want to in your elevations. You can draw, draw lines <gasps> or filled regions. <gasps> no, don't you do it. Um, you could also use a wall sweep on the wall vertically, but then that comes cramming up into your soffit and it doesn't really go to the downspout. So today we are going to make a downspout and it's a practical thing and I'll just show you how to do it. Okay, so here we go. All right, let's get Revit up and run here and put my face, my face right over here. Where is a good place to put my face? Okay, so check this out. <coughs> in our plan, um, what we want to do is have some downspouts going on in this building. And here's our building elevation. Oh, hey, where's the elevation? Uh, let's go to this one. Look at that. This building needs downspouts on it. Right there, right there, whatever. Okay, so let's put, let's make us some downspouts and put them on this cute little building. All right, so here we go. We're going to go File, hover over New, and pick Family. Now, I was working on a downspout the other day, and I tried to use this template here, which was a generic um, two-level based. And I, I on, on one example, man, I was tripping over myself left and right. On another example, it worked beautifully. But today, just keep it simple, people. We're going to generic model. We're going to make a generic model, and it works great. Here we go. Open. That's the uh, template we're going to use today, generic model. So here we are. This is the top-down view of our um, gutter. Looks nice. But let's go over to the left side of it, and this is what the left side is going to look like. And let's just keep it really simple. We want to use a sweep, okay? We are going to take a – we're going to make a new sweep, and let's just keep it simple. I'm going to sketch the path. Look here, the gutter goes up typically, right? And then it comes over at some angle and then it goes up. So that's a typical gutter right there. That's, that's basically what it does. And if we know the exact dimensions of our gutter, we are done. We can just sketch our, our shape and be finished. But I got an idea. Let's put some control on this so that it goes exactly where we want and matches up to the gutter perfectly back in the project. <gasps> No way! How can we do it? Okay, so let's just do this. This little guy right here, we I'm going to put a dimension on it from the tippy corner down to this edge. And six inches is perfect. Okay, let's just leave it at six inches. Now, I've locked it at six inches. I just locked that little lock there. Okay, so this will stay at six inches. So from the gutter, it's going to come down six inches and then come over and then go down draining. Well, let's put another constraint on this. We want to hold this thing at 135 degrees so that it's always pointing back. That's 45 degrees, actually. Um, you know, if you if you look at it, that's the whatever. What whatever? You guys know the math. OK, I'm going to lock that also. So this comes down six inches and then shoots over 135. That sounds reasonable and all. And now the dimension from the gutter out to let's put an let's put a dimension on there whoops d, d, d. from this out to here now we don't want that thing four inches out let's just say the back of it is one inch clear that which is fairly normal so I'm going to pick this line and I'm going to change that dimension to one inch okay and then I'm going to highlight it and lock it so it stays one inch off of that wall okay that works for me now, the last thing is we probably want the, well, let's just, we'll work on that in just a second. I want to show you something. So let's just hold on this. This is our shape. <clears throat> I'll put that back down where it was. Gosh. Okay. So here's our shape. We're coming down six inches. We cut over and down. Now, it might be in our best interest to, to know the dimension out to the gutter because oftentimes we have an overhang distance. So I'm going to put a dimension out from the wall. Okay, from the wall out to the back of the gutter, we're going to give that a dimension. 
And right now it's one and seven, I mean, one, seven and nine sixteenths. That's silly. But if we tell this thing right here, we're going to, we're going to highlight the dimension and give it a label. And to give it a label, we make a new parameter right there and, you know, the little button. So the new parameter is going to be overhang distance, overhang distance. That works. And I'll leave it as a type parameter because often in the projects, you'll have the same overhang all the way around the building. And if you don't, you can make two. You can have one for the short overhang and one for the long overhang. Bada bing. Okay, we're going to leave it. So I'm going to say, okay. So there it pops in, overhang distance. Okay. So now that we've got this under control, <laughs> under constraint, we've got it <laughs> right where we want it. All right. We need to draw on this plane right here, the shape of our, um, of our, I'm going to finish, I finished the sketch of our path and now I'm going to edit the profile and I'm going to do it from top down view. Okay. So here's, this is the wall and here's our gutter out here. I'm just going to make it, make it simple, Mike. I'm going to come out maybe two inches and down. Okay. Three inches over four is that simple or what it's a three inch by four inch gutter all right Ta -da -da. done and if i finish that and finish the gutter wait for it Whoop. look at that oh she's gorgeous but let's look at the um left side view here and see how this works well wouldn't it be nice if we could actually control the top of it and make it go up to the um the gutter maybe the gutter's way up here and this needs to reach up to the gutter so i'm going to create a reference plane just toss a reference plane in here wherever okay wait missed it i'm going to toss in a reference plane mm -hmm, there it is i'm going to put a dimension from the ground up to the reference plane and we will call that gutter height we'll give it a new parameter gutter height okay and that's a type parameter also. So there's our gutter height. Wonderful. Now we need to attach this up there to the gutter, to the top of the gutter height. So when we change this, see right now, if I change the gutter height to say 10 feet and say, okay, it goes up. I want this to go up to it. Okay. So I'm going to go a uh, line. I want the top of that locked to that gutter. So there we go. So now, oh, you saw it come off the ground. I know you did. So take a look. If I, there's my gutter. And if I change that to 12 feet, see, it's just lifting up. And that's staying down here. And I can go back to 10 feet. Okay. But what I want is that on the ground. Okay. So what I'm going to do is edit this sweep. Okay. I'm going to edit the path or sketch the path. And I'm just going to attach the bottom of this thing always to the reference plane. I'm just going to use the align command down to here, you, and lock it. So that the bottom of this line stays, but the top configuration can track up and down. Okay? So finish that. And finish. So here we go. The gutter height is set at 10. And if I back out, I maybe I have a 15-foot gutter. Let's just check it. 15 feet works and that stays down okay but wait what if my what if my gutter has a two foot overhang <gasps> let's just check something there's the distance from the wall come on there it is from the wall to the back of the gutter right now it's one foot seven and nine sixteenths but wait for it what if this was like a two foot see I can adjust this guy now to any overhang distance I want. So I'm just going to put it at, um, let's just put it at one foot. That's not reasonable, but I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, it is reasonable. Sometimes you have a one foot overhang and 15 foot high, but let's just put it at 10 feet and one foot overhang. So there's our gutter. It's gorgeous and it works. So here's how you can place it back on your project. <clears throat> so I'm going to save it, save this. I'm going to save it on my desktop temporarily. Gosh. Um, downspout 
save. And now I'm going to load it into my project. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Load into the project and close it. Okay. So we're back in the project here. And I do not, I'm not, I'm not going to place it here in my elevation. I'm going to place it in plan. Okay. So you come to your plan view. And if you go up here to your components and click on it, the last component that you just created and loaded is the one that's ready to load. So here we go. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Now look, <clears throat> my in, it's one inch off the wall. So when I if I go to put it on the wall, or I could hit my space bar and rotate it and place it on this wall, but I'm going to place it right here. Okay, so there's my gutter on the wall. And I'm going to go to this section and look at it. And there it is. Oh, no, she's way too short. Oh, dear. So there's my gutter. And I can come over here to my type parameters and adjust it if I want and try to guess. Here's 14 feet. Okay. Oh, that didn't quite get it. See, I don't have to guess at the height of this. And I also don't have to guess at the distance out. So watch. I'll show you. If you come in here to your gutter, okay, I'm going to go to light line so we can see what we're doing. Here's our gutter sitting here. What we want to do is know two things. We want to know what that right there under the gutter is. So what you can do is go to annotate, okay, and get a spot elevation right here. You just take a spot elevation off the bottom of your gutter and it's, it's right there, okay. So 19, 6, and 5 8. So wait for it. We click on this guy. And wait, with the other thing, wait, before we go, I want to know the distance from there out to my gutter, out to the face, the edge of the fascia. See, my overhang's two feet, and then I've got three quarters of an inch board on there. So it's two foot zero and three um, quarter. So I can put those dimensions into this guy now. Okay, my downspout. Edit the type. Okay. Now I'll put it over here so we can see the dimensions. Here's the di overhang distance. We'll wait for it. Two foot zero and three quarter. Okay. And I'll say apply. Did you see that? It moved. Okay. And now for the gutter height, I'll move it up to 19, 6, and 5 eighths. Apply. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Way perfect fit, ladies and gentlemen. So that worked right there. So if I go to my plan again, and if I click on this gutter and I say CS on the keyboard for create similar, I want to put one on this side. So I space bar, rotate it around and place it. Bam. If I go to this view, look at that. It's going to work every single time. So that, my friends, wait for it. Hey, that's how you make something actually practical in your project, a gutter. So if you have to play this video and pause it every now and then to, uh, to get some, uh, to follow the steps, then do so. But that's how you make a gutter for your project and, um, and then load it in and, and put it in place. All right. I hope that really uh, worked for you guys and you can actually have downspouts attached to the gutters. Oh, was I saying that was a gutter? No, that was a downspout in your project. All right. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy Reveting, and I'll talk to you next time. If you have any questions now, I almost forgot. Put them in the comments below, and I'll get to them. And so, see you later! <laughs>